Hi guys, today I'm gonna compare uh, my Breitling Super Ocean 44 with my Tank Oil Arco Racer Calibre 5. I'm gonna put them both side by side. I'm gonna do the measures. I'm gonna put them both on my wrist and I'm gonna ask you to choose which one is your favorite and there we go, I'm gonna start with my Breitling. They do this one with 42 millimeters as well and with the bracelet as well. I just choose the rubber strap instead of the bracelet and the 44 millimeter case. I'm just gonna put this one on my wrist. Very comfortable the rubber strap I just love the the blue dial and there we go let me see if I can manage to do a closer look on a dial there we go I don't have a nice beautiful blue dial uh, brightly logo at 12 o'clock we now we have a nice beautiful red pip on a second hand uh, date at three o'clock um, right link logo on a crown we do have a screw down crown I'm gonna quickly do the measures a uh, we have a 44 millimeters case with uh 14.3 millimeters thickness and we have 52.8 millimeters lock to lug with 22 millimeters lug width we have as we can see on the display 1000 meters water resistant and we do have a sapphire crystal with um anti-reflective coating i'm just gonna tell you this now uh brightly you're doing such a good job as soon as you are outside in the sun you have the feeling there is no glass at all we do have a uh, unidirectional bezel 120 clicks very strong and firm and we do have a nice beautiful grip as well um helium escape valve at nine o'clock uh, screw down crown on the first position we can set up the date and on the second position when I pull this up we can see that the second hand is stopped and we can set up the time um, I'm gonna do a loom shot at the end of the video with both of them um, Arabic numerals at 12, 6 and 9 o'clock um, they do this one with different colors uh, as I said, they're doing it in 46 millimeters as well and 42 millimeters as well. I just choose this 44, it just fit my wrist better. We do have a um, screw down crown, sorry, screw case back, um, Breitling 1884. Um, the rubber strap is very comfortable, and we do have the Brightening wings as well on a clasp very comfortable and Yeah, just let me know in the comments below what you think, but I just love this watch. Just love the the, the dial And the Hands working very nice. I think they did an absolutely amazing job with this one All right, so I'm gonna put this one on side. I'm gonna take my Tag Hoyer, let me see if I can manage to do a closer look. Um, black dial with the black ceramic bezel. Um, Tag Hoyer Aqua Racer at 12 o'clock again. Screw down crown for the water resistance. Stainless steel case with stainless steel bracelet. Very 
comfortable and very well made as well. I'm just gonna pop this one again on my wrist. We have a 43 millimeters case. I'm gonna do the measure, a quick one on this one as well. A um, 43 millimeters case with 12 millimeters thickness, 50 millimeters lock to lock with 22 millimeters lug width and we can see again on the this on the display there it's uh, 300 meters water resistant on this one nice beautiful yellow peep on a second hand we do have a cyclop on the date at three o'clock sapphire crystal again um 120 clicks unidirectional bezel again a very good grip very strong and firm i'm sure you're going to be able to operate the bezel with the diver gloves as well screw down crown again first position is going to set up the date and on the second position we can see that the second hand is top and we can set up the time Screw down case back again, um, very strong claps with the Tacoil logo on, there is a um, diver extension as well. Um, screw down case back, um, brushed on the top polished on side the same with the case you can see polished on side anyway I'm gonna do a loom shot with both of them there we go writing on the left hand side you can see though we do have a uh, loom pip on a bezel at 12 o'clock and the tag hoyer again i'm 100 percent sure you're going to be able to tell the time on both of them in the night time uh both with the stainless steel case we have a matte bezel on a brightling with the ceramic bezel on a tag hoyer uh, anyway i'm gonna pop both of them on my wrist again just let me know in the comments below which is your favorite uh, i do prefer the blue brightling but I like the tag hoyer as well. As I said before, the they do the brightling with the with the bracelet as well. And you can get the the tag hoyer with the rubber strap as well i'm just gonna do another closer look on the tag hoyer i do like the cyclop at three o'clock on top of the date caliber five with yellow at six o'clock 300 meters 1000 feet um, I think it's working very nice the, the black and uh, the yellow and I just love the bright link color as well as I said they're doing in different colors but I think this is my favorite and uh, the red people on a second is working very nice with the uh, blue dial anyway let me know in the comments below which one you prefer
Thank you very much for watching.